Hi, this video is about beta carotene to vitamin A conversion. I'm Barbara with Alternative Health and Beauty channel and welcome back to my healthy and beautiful subscribers. So beta carotene is found uh, mainly in plants. Uh, broccoli, spinach, carrots are some of the ones that contain the highest amount of beta carotene. And beta carotene is a precursor to vitamin A, so it's, it's really important to get it in, in large quantities in our diet. And once the beta carotene has been digested in your body, it's mixed with fats and then absorbed into your intestines. It has to be converted to retinol before it can be digested by your body and it is best consumed um, when you're eating fat at the same time. Animal sources uh, include egg yolks and cod liver oil uh, are also plenty and they mainly supply retinol palminate which breaks down in the intestines directly to retinol. And it is stored in this form and then it's saved for when your body needs to use it. Um, if you are new to this channel, um, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and you'll be alerted to new videos as they come out. Carotenes are plant forms of a precursor to vitamin A. And the most common form is beta carotene, which you um, have probably heard of before. And an enzyme in your intestines breaks down the beta carotene forming retinol. About 80 to 90% of the retinols um, in your body are stored in your liver. And they're used to maintain a steady level in your blood. Your body then uses the retinol in a variety of ways. And retinol is very important for your stem cells, your red blood cells, your circadian rhythm, embryonic cells, your immune cells, and epithelial cells. And I'd like you to comment below, because I'm really curious, um, how many of you almost on a daily basis will eat carrots, spinach, or take a beta carotene or vitamin A supplement? Um, I'm just really curious to find that out. No judgments if you're not eating um, your spinach or your carrots or broccoli. A deficiency in vitamin A can cause problems with night vision, um, even cause blindness in the extreme. In the immune system, retinol is involved with both the innate and adaptive immune response. Beta carotene to vitamin A conversion is, is really important for your body to utilize it. And low levels of vitamin A can cause several skin problems. Uh, I've heard that having an adequate amount of vitamin A is good for um, your skin's appearance and it also um, can be a main cause of acne. Carotenoids, in including beta carotene, which we're talking about, are produced by a number of different plants, um, some bacteria and algae as well. And while there are over 600 different carotenoids available, only about 20 are actually consumed by humans uh, in their diet. So we'll focus on those ones. In nature, there's just a lot of availability of these carotenoids, mainly in colorful plants, fruits, vegetables, and so on. Beta carotene, in all of the carotenes for that matter, are fat soluble micronutrients. So they really do need to be um, consumed with fat for your body to utilize them. They're digested in the upper part of your digestive tract and they dissolve in any available fat that's eaten with it. This forms a micelle, which is basically a droplet of fat surrounding the molecule. Uh, which can easily be absorbed in the intestines. Um, then how the food is prepared also has a great influence on in how your body absorbs this. Um, a study that investigates the bioavailability of beta carotene found that while eating carrots raw only had a 2% bioavailability rate, if you juice the carrots, it had a huge 14% bioavailability rate. And I recommend juicing, even if you don't do it on a daily basis. If you could uh, consume vegetable juice a couple times a week, that's great. Carrots and celery and 
Also beets are the ones that I uh, most recommend. And there are a variety of different juicers that are reasonably priced. And I'm gonna put a link below in the description um, for a couple of those juicers that work really well and um, they are more affordable. The beta keratin to vitamin A conversion is necessary for your body to fully use the vitamin A. And thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.